So I will just briefly really go to the studies at CPT level. That's the, the name I, I got for what I will say in the next uh, couple of uh, minutes. Well, first of all, I'm here representing the, the office, the European Communications uh, Office. So uh, you can see that we are supporting the, the CPT and we have there a, a nice uh, description in terms of um, the countries in terms of a map and exactly what uh, ECO is doing, supporting and providing the expert advice to CPT in, in the different committees. Certainly for our, our discussion today, the ECC is the most relevant committee, is there uh, where you find uh, the harmonization process uh, in terms of the spectrum and in terms of electronic communication as a whole. Also, I take uh, this opportunity just to, uh, to to present you that uh, the link you find there on the 2020 annual report. So if you want to, to know more about the activities and the achievements of the ECO, please, uh, you will have here the link, which again is provided in the presentation for you so that you can take more details. Then I have two more slides and uh, hopefully they are not uh, too much condensed here, but much of the material is perhaps uh, well known to, to many of you, but uh, just uh, perhaps a, a brief recap of uh, where we are. I mean, the LSA concept is not new, certainly, and we already heard from Anestis that uh, it started uh, in the discussion in, in, at the EU level, even before 2012. But um, I just took uh, the, the motto that uh, CPD had at that time, and that nice picture you see on the screen shows uh, what was the, the aim. Uh, and at the time we were speaking about white spaces, which of course is in a way related to our discussion. During the following years, uh, CPT has produced uh, um, several deliverables. Um, certainly the ECC report 205 is, is the basic building block in terms of the LSA sharing framework. It's not only the sharing framework that it's uh, you find there, it's also the authorization process, uh, the harmonization part of the, the LSA. In terms of the significant uh, harmonization measure in CPT, you find there also the decision 1402. It has already been mentioned there. Um, that decision, as, as you can see, it was uh, adopted in 2014. Since then, uh, it, there was uh, also a some other deliverables. I would just mention what has been done uh, in, in response to the mandate that CPT has uh, received in the meantime. You'll find there the, these three reports, CPT reports 55, 56 and 58, that provides uh, more details on the LSA uh, guidelines as well as in terms of its implementation. So in this uh, presentation, you have a hyperlink that allows you to, to to detail the, the matter. Well, in terms of LSA, perhaps, and we have already heard today, uh, LSA needs also to be seen uh, in a wider context. Um, certainly the, the LSA uh, has, has uh, everything to do with, with spectrum sharing as a whole. Spectrum sharing is certainly an important um, principle, and this is recognized in, in the CPT and especially in the CCC strategic plan. This is a fundamental principle in the years to come, uh, and that's certainly we will hear uh, more and more about this uh, topic. One thing one can really take from the discussion we had so far is there is, in fact, no, no uh, one size fits all. Each and every si specific situation creates uh, different challenges, and that's what we have been uh, seeing, listening uh, to all the debates, and that's basically one of the, the things that we, we have to, to face in this respect. 
And the discussion is certainly not stopped in the 2.3, 2.4. That's where the, there is this uh, harmonization measure, as I already referred on 14.02. And uh, there is also other um, discussions ongoing. And I just listed some of uh, the, the discussions. I, I, it came to my mind in different frequency bands involving different uh, publications and systems. This is Again, one essential element in, in the 5G, and uh, as you may know, CPT has uh, delineated a, a roadmap for 5G and beyond. And there you can find that uh, certainly uh, sharing, spectrum sharing is key. Last uh, uh, issue, and this has already been uh, referred to, we need certainly more discussion and more trials. Uh, certainly this is a, a starting point to give the confidence and trust for all the stakeholders. And what we are doing in this uh, seminar, and I would praise this uh, for ANACOM to, to have this debate. We are disseminating information and at the same time allowing people to understand what is the, the discussion in LSA. So, and I think that's, all from my side, uh, although the last slide has a question mark, uh, as I said, uh, let's have all the questions uh, in, in the end of the panel.